horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty hi yo silver, the Lone Ranger. grazing lands could be found in the United States than the broad plains of Texas, but the cattlemen were confronted by many difficulties in getting their herds to market, hostile Indians, rustlers, and the dangers of the trail itself. It was not until the Lone Ranger started his great fight for justice that the honest ranchers could face the future unafraid. It was his strength and courage that made possible the winning of the West. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! We're heading for Black River! Cattle's waiting for us! Hail, Silver! Away! Several hours, a gang of men had been digging around the supports of the bridge across the Black River. Then strong ropes were attached to the timbers and hitched to a dozen draft horses. We got the ground all loose. It shouldn't be more than the horses can manage. We'll see. Maybe we'll have to dig a mite more. They're all hitched now. Who's got the bullwhip? Here. Stand back. Now give me room. Get along there. Get up. The supports came a little, Jack. Get up there. Get on there! Get! It's going. Keep the horses pulling, Jack. Don't let them settle back. Get up there! Get up! Keep them pulling together now. Once more! Get up there! Get along there! There she goes! Good. That's done it. And hits the horses now. We've done our job. Look at the bridge. Look at her floating right downstream. <laughs> Keep on going, she'll go right past Turner's ranch, and he'll know we've done our job before we can get back to tell him. Yep. Turner will be downright glad to see the ruins of the bridge. Now all we got to do is take the horses back and help boss Turner collect cash. Come on, boys, let's get going. Got a look. That coming down Black River. Oh, that looked like part of bridge. I thought the bridge was built to stand any kind of flood water. That is the bridge. Huh? I'm going out there and have a look at it. Here, Silver. You go in water? Yes. We'll see if we can't drag those remains to shore. Here, take one end of this rope. Hitch the tree? Yes. I'll take the other end and tie it to the bridge. We'll at least anchor it. Come on, boy. That's it, Silver. Right in. That's it, boy. Come on, swim for it, fellow. We're nearly there. Oh, down. We'll make it all right. Yep. There. All right, Tyler, fall away. I'm gone. Back now, Silver. That's it. Come on, Silver, old boy. Back to shore. That's the way. Is it holding, Tyler? All right. Come on, Silver. There. And he's strong. But not strong enough to tear the bridge away. 
What happened to it? That bridge has always been important to the cattlemen west of here. That's right. Tata, if there's no bridge, the cattlemen will have a hard time getting their livestock to the market. Ah. Unless there's a Turner Ranch. He has a bridge of his own there. If he won't let the cattlemen use his bridge, they'll be cut off from the market. I wonder if by any chance Buck Turner had a hand in the destruction of the bridge. Nothing to worry about now, boys. Not unless the cattlemen find out that me and the others uprooted the bridge, and then there'll be a plenty for us to worry about. How they find out? They can't prove it, no matter how much they suspect. Yeah, maybe you're right, Turner. I sure as thunder hope so. You ever see me wrong? Well, no. All right, then. All we got to do now is to sit by our bridge and collect the two bits of head for every steer that's brought across. Uh, Turner. Well? You say there ain't no risk. Sure not. That ain't going to affect you when it comes to squaring up with me and the boys, is it? Sure not. I made a deal, didn't I? Yeah, you made one. Promised that I'd split half with you and your two pals. Every time a head of cattle crosses my bridge, I give half the two bits to you. Well, I wouldn't want you to forget that part of the deal. <laughs> Of course I wouldn't forget it. And me and the boys were saying we'd uh, feel a sight more comfortable if we could be around here and help come. It wouldn't do. It'll never do, Jack. You're too well known around. Why, well, shucks, anyone that's seen Jack Harper and his two pals working on my ranch would know there was something wrong. It'd be too much for anyone to think you three work for Cowhan Pay. You want we should hang around town, is that it? That's it. All right, then. Besides, you'll hear all the talk if you're in town. And there'll be plenty of talk when it's found that everyone has to pay me to move his cattle. There'll be plenty of talk around town. Why, it's the doggonest thing ever. I seen the bridge was down. Then I went to the Turner spread, had to use his bridge. And what do you think that maverick wanted? I know what he wanted, Carvel. Two bits a head to cross. Yeah, and me with 5,000 head. I didn't have the cash. Now, well, what'd you do? I didn't cross, that's all. I don't reckon there's a chance of fording the stream. Not a chance, Bates. Hey, boys, all of you. Listen, everyone in this cafe, I got things to say. Fire away, Carvel. How many of you men have found out about the Turner Bridge? How many of you can afford to pay two bits a head to cross your cattle? I say it's highway robbery. Why, then a man of us can pay that cash and come out even when we sell our stock. No. And we can't keep the stock. There ain't pasture enough to carry it through another year. No. Boys, we got to do something. Rebuild the bridge. That'd take too long. The market wouldn't wait that long. It's move the cattle now or not at all. Boys, Turner's all has been scheming for himself instead of for the good of everyone. That's right, Carvel. If any of us own the bridge, we tell the rest to go on and use her. That's the way folks have got to live in this part of the country. Of Not Turner, though. I say, make him let us cross our livestock. We'll gang up and make him. <laughs> Hold on, Carvel. All right, Sheriff. I'm glad you heard me. I heard the last of what you said, Carvel. Well? It won't do. What do you mean, it won't do? I mean the Turner owns the land and the bridge. And no man can trespass on his property without his permission. Dad, rat it, Sheriff. You're in cahoots with Turner. Yeah. No fine cahoots with no man, Bates. You know better to say that. Then look at things as we do. I look at things as the law says. I admit the Turner's a polecat if he won't help the rest of you out. But if he wants to be one, that's his privilege. That's why this country is what it is. A man can be as big as he wants or just as small. The law will protect him as long as he don't break no laws. I wouldn't put it past him to have torn down the government bridge. That calls for proof. What, what are we to do? I ain't a cattle man. We can't go round the river. It'd take weeks of travel. And Ford? Not when she's as high as it is now. Then I guess you'll have to pay what Turner wants. Or wait till the bridge is rebuilt. We can't do that either. Do without marketing this season. And we'll all go broke. This will be a ghost town. Everyone will have to leave here. Boys, you got an ugly problem on your hands, and I'm downright sorry about it. But I'm warning you... If I have to do so, I'll send for Texas Rangers to keep you off Turner's land unless he gives permission to let you on. Cattlemen were helpless. 
It was impossible for most of them to pay what Turner demanded. And the others refused to sacrifice the principal at stake. Tonto reported the men's attitude to the Lone Ranger and... Nothing will make those men change their minds, Tonto. Not right. They'll never pay Turner for the use of his bridge. They'll kill their cattle first. Cattle will all die for food. And soon. I wonder if there isn't some way. It's certain that the bridge never went out without help. I'm fairly sure that Turner had a hand in helping it. You proved that? I don't know how. Well, Tonto find track of men near old bridge. Yes, there were men there. But how can we prove it? Even if we did find the men and found they were hired by Turner, it wouldn't bring the cattle across Turner's bridge. And that's the thing that has to be done first. Wait. What is it? Someone come this way. I'll stay with the horses so they won't make any sound. Heading toward the Turner Ranch. Tonto, whoever that rider was, he's crossed the bridge. I'm going as close as I can on foot and see who went there. Right, Turner. We've done our work. We want our pay. We made an agreement, Jack, and I'll stand by it. I'll pay you half of what's paid to me. But hang it all the way things stand now. There's nothing to be paid you. All right. Then you get nothing. Now, that ain't right. All our work and nothing for it. Maybe you think it was easy working on the bridge. What about me? Think it's easy for me to sit here by the bridge all the time? Well, your men take turns with you, though. Even so. I've got to keep on the job so there's no cattle can come across while there's no one here. Yeah, but the other boys, they want pay, too. Tell them what I told you. Uh... And look, tell them not to worry. I've been checking up on things, and there ain't no way but for the men to pay me. They won't. <laughs> I ain't worried none, Jack. They're sore as I can be. They're saying right now that they'll kill off their stock sooner than pay what I demand. But they'll think better of it. First thing you know, one rancher will bring his cattle across, and then another. And once it's started, it'll keep on. Those men ain't fools. And they're cussed stubborn and set in their ways. You wait and see. Inside the next week, there'll be cattle moving over our bridge. Still the boys to wait and be patient. We'll come out on top... Just wait and see him. Time to get ready. We're breaking camp. You hear him? I heard enough. I know who Turner had smashed the bridge. Who that? Jack Harper. He's never been known to work, but always has plenty of money. He's one of the men. There were two others who work with him. Now, what do now? We'll saddle up. I'll tell you while we ride. Uh, you find way, get cattle over? I think so. Steady there, Silver. We're moving in a minute. I want to talk to Ben Carvel. He's one of the main cattlemen. If we can get him to help us, we may you be... You know him? Oh, I know enough about him to feel sure that I can persuade him to do what I want. Oh, here come Fuller back again. Let him come. I'm ready for him now. <laughs> the first step in our plan is to capture Jack Harper. I'll meet you at our old camp. Come on, Silver. Hurry, old boy. Harper, I want to speak to you. Who are you? Come on, Silver. Bring him up there, Harper. The masked man. We met before. Yeah, and I've been hoping we'd meet again. I got a score to settle with you. Rain up, Harper. Like fun, I will. Don't make me rope you. You'll spill hard. Just you close in on me. I'll drill you. You've missed four times. You've only got two shots left. And that's six. Your gun's empty, Harper. You want to fall, huh? No, no, no. Not the rope. Oh, oh, there. Whoa. No, don't, don't rope me. I'm a stopping. You got me. What do you want? What do you want of me? There's something we're going to talk over, Harper. A matter of a bridge that you ripped down. I don't know nothing about any bridge. No, we'll see about that. You're coming with me. We'll get the rest of your gang later on. No, no, wait. Hold on. You can't prove a thing. There ain't a thing. I'm not concerned with trying to prove anything. Well, what do you want? Harper, I'm not going to say another word about you wrecking a bridge. You can put your mind at rest on that score. All I want of you is your company for a few days. After that, I think matters will adjust themselves. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. After the Lone Ranger captured Harper, he rode into town under cover of darkness and waited outside the cafe. Finally, the doors swung open and two men stepped into the street. I ain't waiting no longer. We'll see Harper tomorrow. Yeah, that'll be time. One minute. What the... Huh? Walk straight ahead and get to the saddle. What's this? Matt! Keep your voices down. I don't want to rope and gag you two. Say, what do you mean? Ouch! Move along. All right, all right. Stop prodding us with them guns. I don't want any trouble with you. If I have to go back without you, I won't promise that Jack Harper will be in good health. I know who this is now. Mount He's... up. <laughs> no use argifying now. We'll get the chance later. We'll see about that. Start. Get him, Get him. I did sleep later this morning, Sarah. There's nothing to get up for. Oh, what a way to talk. Eat your breakfast, Ben Carvel, and start thinking what to do about the cattle. Mm. I never see you lick before. No, Sarah. Uh, biggest rancher in this county, and you're beat by a swindling, scheming crook like Turner. It, it ain't that he's beat me, Sarah. It's the doggone law that's beat me. Why, the sheriff's ready to call in Texas Rangers if he has to. A fine thing. If I had my way, we'd go on hog tie, Turner, and then take the livestock across the bridge. Ten years ago, that's what had been done. But now, shucks, there's laws. Well, then find some other way. What if you do have to pay two bits a head for cattle? Pay it, you'll still come out a shade ahead. Oh, it ain't that. <laughs> That'd be better than going broke or something. Sarah, I can afford the two bits a head. I got the cash, but a lot of the men don't have. They'd think I was a fine breed of pole cat to market my cattle when they're stuck with theirs. They haven't got the cash? No. And if they try to get Turner to take cattle instead of cash, he'll swindle them something fierce. No, he won't. Huh? What's that? I came to see you, Carvel. Who the Sam Hill? Eat your breakfast. I'll talk while you're doing it. This is going to be a busy day. What you talking about? Who are you? Now, one thing at a time. I'm getting at the problem of cattle. You'll have to move yours today. As if I wouldn't give my lower teeth to do that. Maybe you got notions of where I might move it to. Now, who are now, you? Should you move it? East, of course, to the railroad, to market. You want to sell, don't you? Does a fish want to swim? Of all the fool questions, of course I want to sell. But I'm hanged if I'll pay Turner. Yes, you will. Is that a threat? By ginger, if it is, then the law will be on my side for a change. Go on, threaten me. I'm not going to threaten you. I'm just going to tell you why you're moving cattle. (laughs) Can't be done. Ginger, maybe you got something there. You hear that, Sarah? Why, it sounds like it might work. It will work, and we're starting it right now. Ben, your breakfast. Feed it to the hogs. This is my busy day. I got cattle to move. Hank, Pete, Slim, snap to it. We're moving east today. Come on, saddle up. Don't ask questions. Get things going. We can't sell while the cattle's on this side of Black River. Now hurry up. Move that cattle. And 3,000. 3,000 head even. Is that what you count, Carvel? That's right. At two bits a head, Turner, I figure it comes about uh, $750. Right. Well, there's the cash. I'll take a receipt if you don't mind. Don't mind at all. You ain't riding herd? No, my boys can handle it without me. Yeah, there's the receipt. I don't see why everyone feels I'm so ornery for charging for my bridge, Carvel. Let's not get talking on that. It cost me cash to build the bridge. It was worthwhile, wasn't it? You got to use the land on the other side for nothing. Even so. Turner, all I got to say is just this. Out here, men stand by one another. When a man's in trouble, all the others help him out. That's how we get along. Where I come from, men pay for what they want. Mm -hmm. Maybe so. It's all how you look at it. I'll head back now. I suppose you won't charge me for going back across your bridge. (laughs) Nope, have that crossing on me. So long, Carvel. Right. Hey, by the way, yeah. you might tell the rest that if they don't cross this week, 
I'm doubling the price on them. I'll tell them. I got a notion they'll be crossing, though. Go along now. Get up. Get up. Get up. Not bad. $750 as easy as rolling off a log. Redskin coming. Where do you think you're going, Redskin? Me come here. You got cash. Hey, sure I got cash. What about it? Half go to Harper, fella. Where is he? Him send Tonto. You a Tonto? Huh. You give cash plenty quick. Now, hold on. Don't be so quick about things. How do I know he sent you? You not give it, Harper. Get mad. You give it. Hey, did he tell you to rough about it? Put that gun away. Half a cash. All right, all right. I'll give it to you. But you better be doggone sure that Harper gets it. Yeah. Uh, I'm good. Get him up, Scout. In the Lone Ranger's camp, not far from the bridge, Jack Harper and his confederates were being held prisoners. But neither the masked man nor Tonto were on hand to guard them. I'm, I'm getting loose, boys. I think I'll get the ropes off. The sooner the better. The sooner the better is right. I don't like the way that Lone Ranger is treating us. Ah, it's a trouble. If he'd come out with an open thread or tell us point blank what's on his mind. But he won't. Just keeps us here saying almost nothing about the reason. How you coming, Jack? We got to call on Turner. Uh, we'll call on him all right enough. Uh, I'm getting loose. Good thing our horses are still here. Yeah, it's a good thing. Uh, uh, I'm getting them. Where? One hand free. Free oh. work, Jack. Where's the other hand? I'll have you all loose in no time. I got a knife here. Hurry it up. The red skin or the lone ranger might come back. Now hold still now. There's your hands. Now get your own knife out and cut your feet loose. Sure thing. Here. There. Now you're loose. That does it. Now don't spoil it all by being too eager. Let's look around first. I'll get our shooting irons. The lone ranger left them here by the tree. Right. You, fetch the horses. I'll get them. I don't see no sign of the Lone Ranger. His gun. Swell. Now let him show himself. I'd like the chance to drill that critter. We got scores to settle with him now, and when we do, we'll settle them for keeps. Here's the horses. No use waiting longer. Let's get going. We got to see Turner. I heard cattle crossing that bridge, and that means we got cash coming to us. Let's go get it. And shoot the Lone Ranger on the way. I just hope we see him. Come on. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. The three outlaws found Turner in the living room of his ranch house. You come, Turner. <laughs> Oh, hello, Jake. Heard uh, cattle crossing the bridge. Sure, there was a carvel stung. Nice lot of it. Yeah, it sounded like it. Now, what about our cash? Your cash? You know what I'm talking about. Uh, give it to the Indian. What Indian? Hold on, Harper. What are you trying to put over on me? You got your half of the cash? What? You're loco, Turner. You sent a redskin to collect. We done nothing of the sort. We're here to collect it now, and we want it prono. Hand it over. Half of what you got from Carver. Why, well, you double-crossing No, go. You... you ain't backing down on us. Hold on. What that redskin look like? Big critter dressed in buckskin, riding a paint horse. That's him, Jack. Did you get his name? Was it Tono? Yeah. That's a friend of the Lone Ranger. I see it now. The Lone Ranger had his hog tied. He held us so he could collect the cash from you. What'd you give the cash to the redskin for? Well, Are uh, you looking for us? Quit the... You... Don't go for a gun, Harper. You're covered. You and that redskin... I see you got out of the rope. How'd you get across my bridge? By just telling the guard there that we had cash for Jack Harper. Mm, here, cash. In just a minute. Before we hand this over, I must know exactly what it's for. It's, uh, Harper's. Mine is right. Turner owed it to me. For what? None of your business. Ah, well, then we'll take it with us. You, you can't do that. Unless you... we know just why this cash is being paid to Jack Harper and his men... It will not be paid. All right, all right, I'll tell you why. Jack, don't do it. No, it's all right. There ain't no one here but your own men, and they know all about things. If you gotta know, Mr. Mister Lone Ranger, it's to pay us for pulling down the bridge. It's a good thing. Now let him try and prove that. Who'll believe it without proof? I guess your own admission is proof enough, Harper. Yeah? Well, go on and make someone believe what I said. I'll hand that money over and... Not be... so fast. What sure. happened? I heard that confession. Yes, and so did I. What is this? 
Every cattle man from the west side of Black River is here. You bet we are. It's a frame-up. You can't touch us. We deny everything. We've been framed. You cooks can save a lot of breath by saving what you got until you come to trial. You're trespassing. You come in my lab without a warrant. They say it's legal. Sheriff, you know the laws. Yep, Turner. I know the laws, and I enforce them as I see them. And you can't come here without a warrant. Let me see your warrant. Oh, I reckon we got a right to be here. Ah, no, you ain't. You ain't paid to cross my private bridge. No, we ain't paid no toll. Then you can't you come see, here. Turner, Carvel paid it for us. Part of that cash that there's been so much talk about was for us. That's a lie. Carvel paid for his cattle and the men to handle it. Mm-hmm. And we was all some of the men. You, you and Bates and... All of us. You didn't notice us when we crossed with 3,000 head of cattle... But we crossed all the same. The fact that we're here sure proves it. The whole thing was framed. Well, Harper, I reckon you're right on that score. It was the Lone Ranger's idea, and it worked out slick. You can't get away now, with Turner, it. Turner, if I had my say, I'd throw the four of you in jail. But that wouldn't do the folks that owns a cattle no good. The way I figure the law, and the way the Lone Ranger figures it, is that sometimes a crook can do better out in the jail than he can in. Well... Now, being as you and these men arranged to tear the bridge down, it's up to you to see that it's rebuilt. Meanwhile, you'll have to let the cattlemen use your bridge. And you won't make no toll charges on it. It'll cost me plenty of cash to fix that bridge. Well, of course, if you'd sooner go to jail, the government will pay for fixing it. As for Carvel's money, I'll see that he gets that back. Well, what's your choice? Jail or the bridge? Uh, There ain't no choice. That's the way we figured, Turner. Leastwise, that's how the Lone Ranger figured. The Lone Ranger? Where's he at? Looks like he slipped out. I'll get him. This is twice he's got the best of me. I'll get square. It's twice, Harper, that you've escaped the jail term. You might not be lucky again. Hello, Silver Hoey! <laughs> just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.